Welcome back to the John Mandola Show here at WILK. 1044 in the morning now. We have the North Pocono ladies in studio with us. And uh, Coach Valvano uh, is joining us. And uh, Coach, uh, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. We're very excited to be here. Right, girls? <laughs> Everybody's got a little bit of nerves, including me each and every show, that's for sure. But, uh, uh, Coach, uh, let's talk a little bit about this team and, and the excitement that you have to, to coach this group of young ladies at North Pocono. Absolutely. And the, the excitement <clears throat> excuse me, started back in, um, in April when we first met, and then the excitement continued into June, into our summer workouts, into the fall. And um, there's a lot of excitement on the team right now. You know, we're, we're hitting a, a good stretch of basketball games. We're playing really well. We're continuing to improve, um, and I think the confidence and, and they're, they're starting to gather a sense of belief of, of what they can accomplish this year. So the girls are working really hard. Um, our coaches are doing a great job of having them prepared. Um, as, as my senior across me right now, Rachel Lewis, said to me the other day, if you, if you fail to prepare, you're preparing to fail. So, um, you know, we're approaching each and every day with you know, the mentality that is what, Chloe? Today's the what? most important day today is the most important day so um, they're doing a great job and, and we're excited to have a big game against liberty today all right well uh, that's great to hear and how about for you uh, coach uh, you have some some coaching background you've been around some coaches you learned a little bit of stuff so talk a little bit about some of those coaches you've been around and kind of take a few things from okay this coach did this and and now i'm going to try my own program here absolutely as you know you follow coaching with the coaches in my family and the coaches that um, I've been around, whether it's in my career or just, you know, been around in general. And you kind of take notes a- as you go along and you, and you see what works, what doesn't work. And the biggest thing that I've noticed from a coaching standpoint of all the coaches that I've been around is their attention to detail and how detail oriented you have to be. And as coaches, you know, you're, you're up a lot during the season, um, whether it's during the middle of the night and two o'clock comes around and you wake up and did I forget this? Did I forget this? Did I forget this? But um, these girls have made it very easy for our, us as coaches to know that they're ready to go because they give their best effort every day. So I've been very fortunate to be around some of the best coaches um, in the state of Pennsylvania and, and in the area, and I consider very, myself very fortunate for that. So I'm just trying to make them proud as well. But, um, you know, the reason we coach is, you know, three these three girls in front of me here and, and the 16 other ones that we have back home. So um, it's a great opportunity. I'm very lucky. Well, uh, Coach Phil said a little bit about Chloe uh, Pahanek. Uh, tell us a little bit about what she brings to the table for this team. She brings, she is, you know, our fearless leader. Um, she, you know when Chloe's mad. You know, you, you get that stare that you don't want to get. Uh, and I think that Rachel's gotten it before, and I think that Sarah's gotten it before, but I think the person that gets it most is probably her sister, Izzy. Um, <laughs> but she, her, Rachel, and Sarah, they've done a great job. Um, you know, Chloe is more of the outspoken one. Uh, she, she sets the tone for us in practice, in games. She does a great job of, you know, holding everyone accountable, as does Rachel, as does Sarah. Um, but Chloe, she, she's on the floor every single day. She's, she's getting up, getting the rebounds. She might throw an elbow or two, which, which I don't like, but um, she's going to stick up for her teammates, and, and she's going to do the best job she possibly can. Well, let's welcome in Chloe Pahanek here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers. And, uh, Chloe, let's talk about that uh, toughness that you have there at North Pocono. Um, yeah, I just I um, I try and stay tough to lead a good example for the girls in the younger grades. And I try to um, be the best leader I can so when they're older, they could um, do the same for the team coming up. Talk about some of the girls that came before you in the program and things that you learned from some of those young ladies and, and some of that talent and saying, okay, it's now it's my turn. i got to be the leader. Um, yeah, last year there were um, a lot of seniors, and they all set good examples. And this year it's just me and Rach, so we uh, obviously have had to step it up and take on more roles than um, last year's girls, and I think we're doing a good job with that. Talk about the energy from Coach Valvano, uh, you know, what he expects at practice and then trying to push you young ladies. Um, he always expects us to go 100% during, um, for every practice, during the whole practice, to uh, try and uh, lead that into the game. So if we're in slumps, he, uh, he keeps us going and he uh, tries to get us back on track. And being a senior, uh, you know, graduation's coming up and you got to start thinking about what's next. And boy, there's a lot of pressure with that. And 
And some people are like, yeah, I know what I wanted to do since I was in ninth grade. Right. Other people aren't so sure. Uh, tell us a little bit about, do you have a major in mind? Are you kind of weighing around uh, what that next step is for you? Yeah, um, I didn't make a decision where I'm going yet, but I think I want to uh, become a biomedical engineer, so I'm going to study in that field. We'll talk about uh, the, the studies, because you got to be pretty pretty darn sharp right. uh, to, to head into that major. So tell us about uh, doing the job in the classroom. Um, um, I always like to go 100% no matter what it is. So in class, I I give it, give it my all, and I'll be sure to do that in college as well. Yeah, of course, a little credit to the family there, I'm sure, as well, mm -hmm. <laughs> helping you along, yeah. right? <laughs> well, uh, we wish you well in that, and uh, congratulations on, uh, on a really bright future, that's for sure. And uh, how about uh, some young ladies there on your team this year that you're, you're saying, uh, you know, these girls right now, they're responding or they're working mm -hmm. hard. Uh, talk about a, a couple that uh, you see improving this year. Um, I think for sure Brianna Ruby and my sister Izzy, um, they've been stepping up as starters uh, this year. Um, they try and feed off us captains, I think, and they want to uh, set themselves up for um, a good future in the, uh, in the upcoming years. All right. Well, a couple of sophomores playing well, and mm -hmm. we appreciate you coming in today, Chloe. Thank you for having me. You got a Chloe Pahanek there from the North Pocono uh, Lady Trojans. And, of course, uh, let's get Coach Valvano back. And, Coach, uh, tell us about Rachel Lewis and, and her skill set. What does she bring to the table? You know, Rachel, um, at the beginning of the year, has been in, it, our defensive stopper. You know, the, the guard and their team, we assign Rachel, and she takes that responsibility, no questions asked. Uh, she did a great job at the beginning of the year um, on Taryn Ashby from Pittston area. She did a great job, um, even better job on Lizzie Spindler. Um, you know, so it's a tall task. You know, Rachel, she doesn't complain. You, you, you tell her who she's guarding, okay. You tell her what she has to do, she says, okay. You tell her to run through a wall, she says, which one? Um, so she does a great job, and, and I think she's starting to come into her own offensively. Um, her confidence is starting to rise. Um, and she's starting to shoot the ball really well. And she's always had the ability to take the ball to the basket, but she's really starting to shoot it. And you can see that her ball handling is starting to pick up. Her confidence level is starting to pick up. So um, I'm very excited for her. She's an ascending player. I wish I had Chloe and Rachel for 12 more years, but unfortunately we just got them for one. Um, but I'm very proud of, of the way they're, they're responding. It's not easy to come into a new year with a new head coach um, and that uncertainty coming in, but... They've done a great job of, of stepping up. All right, let's welcome in Rachel Lewis here on the John Mandola Show. And Rachel, as Coach said, uh, you got to step up, and uh, you, you have a new coach this year. And talk about the, some different things that you, you really enjoy about the coach's style. Um, the one thing that I find really different but that I like is that Coach Valvano, he um, takes each player aside and deals with them individually. Like if he notices that one player is down on themselves, he'll take them aside and make sure that their head is in the right place and – he always gets us motivated, and I think that's really helped us throughout the season so far. We'll talk about your competitive spirit and, uh, you know, athletics uh, part of your life uh, for a while. So uh, what's it like to, to be a competitor in the Lewis family? Um, I have had to step into some big shoes since my sister, I'm sure everyone knows, Caitlin Lewis. Uh, but athletics have always been a big part of both of our lives, and our parents have just um, supported us all the way through, and... Uh, Coach Lance actually mentioned last week that if our parents aren't at one of the games, it's actually like you have to ask if something's wrong because it's like just weird if they're not there. But um, yeah. Well, it was great to have that support. And uh, I'm sure you get to talk to Sis a little bit about what college life is like and, and get some tips already to say, hey, uh, you know, you better take care of this opportunity or make sure you're doing some of those things. Uh, and little reminders. Yep, I actually asked her the before the game I had to play defense on Lizzie Spindler. I actually asked her for some advice, and she helps me out a lot with that, so that's nice. How about some girls uh, that you've been around this year? Again, a senior trying to be a leader. I'll talk about some girls maybe you're taking under your wing or you're saying, uh, uh, you know, listen, uh, I've seen some improvement since we've been in the gym. Um, yeah, we have a, lo a lot of younger girls on the team, but I definitely don't think that that puts us at a disadvantage. Uh, we have a lot of skill, and I think the future looks really bright for our program. And uh, two people that I've really noticed is uh, Jenna Montana. She's been shooting the ball great for us this year. And Lila Gone, she's been putting in a lot of good minutes, uh, especially defensively. Them both being freshmen, that's really exciting. So, yeah, the future looks bright. Good. Nice to hear some freshmen hitting the floor and contributing. And how about for you, Rachel, your, your future endeavors? Do you have that set, or are you still working on it? 
Um, I'm still working on that. I have it narrowed down to a couple choices, but I still haven't decided yet. Um, I'm hopefully going to be going into the psychology field and maybe play some soccer. All right. Sounds fun, and uh, we wish you the best. Thank you. All right. We're going to continue the conversation with North Pocono, the girls. We still have another young lady to talk to, and, of course, Coach Valvano. So we'll come back with Sarah Kineski here on the John Mandola Show. Let's tell you about uh, some more locations. You can pick up a copy of our basketball magazine. You can do so at any McCarthy Tire, an automotive location here in northeastern Pennsylvania, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, Kingston, and Hazleton. Of course, our friends at our Carol and Janelle, the Takeaway Kitchen in Old Forge, Ravello's Pizza, also in Old Forge, and Manuka Subaru in Music. It's all we do. Well, we come back, we'll talk more. North Pocono Girls Basketball. Let's head out now to our local State Farm Insurance agent, Frank Sorokach. Break like a good neighbor. Frank Sorokach is there. We'll be back on WILK. Welcome back to the John Madola Show on WILK. Continuing the conversation, the North Pocono Girls basketball team in studio with us and uh, coach Valvano and Sarah Kadeski going to be joining us shortly and uh, coach uh, tell us a little bit about Sarah and her skill set what she brings there at North Pocono yeah Sarah's just like um, our other two captains extremely hard working she's done a better job as the season's going on as attacking to the attacking the rim and, and finishing at the rim and I think the last two games her shooting has really come on so just like you know everyone else on the team her confidence is growing her defense has always been there she's been doing a better job of staying out of foul trouble um, knock on wood as we play a game today, but um, you know her confidence is ri- rising. She's a, a, an ascending player for us. I wish, just like Rachel and Chloe, that I had her for 12 more years, but I'm lucky enough to have her for another year next year. Um, so, very happy with Sarah's efforts. You know, she's continuing to prove, and, and she gives 110 percent each and every day. All right, let's welcome in Sarah Kaneski from the North Pocono Girls Basketball Team. Sarah, talk about uh, you having some fun right now with the team. Yeah, it's a lot of fun, um, especially with the younger girls. Like We're all a really great team together, and our bonding is very well, so that's really good for us. What are those two leaders uh, that are in studio with you? Tell us a little bit about both of those girls. Um, they're both uh, amazing basketball players as well as amazing people. I've been playing with them for quite some time now, and they've really, like, if I get down to myself, they pick me up as well as if anyone else in the team gets down. All three of us work together, pick each of each people up and as far as uh, some girls that uh, you're seeing working hard on your team this year I know some of the other girls uh, mentioned some girls uh, how about for you um well Sydney Polk is really stepping up to the plate this year she's working extremely hard in practice as well in all the games and Megan Carney is really pushing herself good to hear and any other uh, sports that you're involved with there at North Pocono or any other activities at school academically um I've been a member of the track team since seventh grade and i'm in the red cross club in the sad club all right well stay busy okay all right congratulations sarah kineski uh, playing some good basketball there at north pocono coach valvano we're up against the clock we got about uh, 15 seconds so i just want to thank you for coming in and uh, uh, good luck the rest of your season okay thank you for having us we appreciate it all right Corey valvano the head coach there in north pocono on the ladies side